Are we ready? Oh, that's Mr. Novak. This is a presentation. We need to make a presentation before we even get started. Oh, thank you very much for the eggs. Oh, you want All right. Did you enjoy the show today? Ah, yeah, I watched some of it. All right, shall we get started? So this is an official meeting of the uh, Agricultural Commi C Commission, and it started at on time at 6.30. And with that, we'll start the first order of business is attendance. So because we're on film so tonight, why don't we introduce ourselves? You're first. You're first. Jim, why don't you put your smile on face in front of the camera? And use your real name. Dolan. Jim Dolan's there. <laughs> Don. Don Havlin. All right. Barbara Havlin. Our, our secretary and co-chairman. Clarence Snyder, your chairman. Ken Cleveland. Steve Novak. Paul Benjamin. Donald Wright. All right. He does honey. He does trees. He does eggs. He gets lost. <laughs> they do sheep. He does almost anything he wants. <laughs> anyway, and with that, thank you. Uh, so let's put the agenda for tonight is uh, we've done the attendance. We're going to review and approve minutes here in a second. We're going to talk about some main topics. We're going to talk farmers markets and planning for that. Some educational events and how to, how to do those kinds of things. And feedback on Temper Match Grown and the progress that's um, having. And we're going to talk about Mass Ag Commission's next meeting. That's the agenda for tonight. And there's an extra minutes over there. Thank you very much. So, do you want to just do highlights? Just because we're on camera. Okay, sure. Um, the last meeting was November 19th, 2014. Um, called to order at 6.30. Um, Seven of our commission members and alternate and advisors were present. Janet Pierce of CMRPC sat in with us as well as several community members. Um, the minutes of the October 15th meeting were read and motioned and seconded and approved. Um, the main topics of discussion were the Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, their beginnings, their goals, um, what they were looking for from producers and anybody involved in agriculture, um, talking about um, help of legislat from legislatures like Angobi. Um, there's now a program with, at that point in time, 75 plus participants connecting producers to consumers. Um, we talked about the monies available for advertising and we're gonna continue our map that we've had into 2015. We talked about the farmer's market um, it was suggested that we continue the market back at the Common, but on the north side, closer to Route 9, with signage at the Flower Garden. Um, another thought was to change the day, possibly to Saturday mornings, with possible entertainment, cooking demos with, product, with products offered, community service projects with the high school kids. Also suggested that we promote an educational contest via, contest via folks at the elementary school in Tantasqua to get the kids involved a pumpkin, watermelon, sunflower gourd, etc., et growing contest um, with a weigh-in and or winner's presentation to be done at the Apple Country Fair in October. Um, market discussion included funding, attracting more vendors, coupons will be continued in January 2015. Educational programs planned in February, Healthy Chickens with Roseanne Tebow. March, pruning fruit trees, April, forestry, or composting, garden prep, raised beds. With no further items on the agenda and no further discussion, there was a motion and a second for adjournment, meeting adjourned at 7.15 p.m. Next meeting scheduled for Wednesday, January 22nd, 21st, at 6.30 p.m. And with that, James, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Yeah. Thank you. Second. Okay, how about a second? Hold on. Be kidding to All right, with that, any discussion for the minutes? Seeing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, with that, we'll move on. Thank you, Barbara. Appreciate that. So, next on our list is farmer's market and ideas around farmer's market. Any thoughts? Yes? No? Donnie, you want to start on your end? What do you think? Okay, I guess we do much the same with you then. Well, personally, I've been doing the farmers market since they actually started it at Tip Top. So that was, we did that for three years. We've done it on the common now for how many years? We've been 
two or three. three. It was three. Yeah. It was three, and then one down at okay. nine. Um, I didn't participate last year, so I can't tell how it went, but I know this when we were at Tip Top and when we were at the Common. We just don't see to get the participation from the people at Brookfield to make it personally worthwhile to me. Suggestion of moving it down. I can't imagine why moving it down 100 yards is going to make any difference on the common, but that's just my opinion. Okay. All right. Paul, you participated. Yeah, I, I think some of these ideas are great ideas. I don't know if you look at them, tonight, but uh, you know, getting people involved. I think that's the whole thing. Like you said, it's hard to get people um, re-educated <laughs> to look at local. And the other thing is, is the short window that they have to participate. So the more we can make it, uh, make people aware that it's available and give them some motivation to participate. I think some of these ideas we came up with last week or, or back in um, November um, might have an effect. I think it's worth a try. Okay. All right. Steve, any thoughts? Mm, no. No? Yeah. Being a one-person operation, I can't participate. Oh, no, no, no. Totally, totally understand. Yeah. Just yeah. Know what, I mean, if I could say one more thing, I mean, yep. um, I can understand where you want to try to get these kids involved and stuff, but that really wouldn't, are you guys going to try to do that in conjunction with the farmer's market? Okay. Um, so, I mean, that, like you say, that might, might work, it might not. Um, I know West Brookfield is the best market that I go to, rather, out of the, out of the four, four that I do. And they don't have to do any of this. They just have the have the sign. People know that it's going to be there, and that's basically it. Yep. You know. So I mean, for whatever reason, we seem to have to go over and above what everybody else has to do to get people to come to Brookfield. And I don't know what the answer is to the reason why that is. But the idea of having another market for another year, I mean, for what for its purpose if we were to do a few of these educational kinds of yeah. things as a part of it, yeah. to kind of act as a draw, yeah. to see if that works. And if it doesn't... Yeah, you, yeah, you, can, you, can, you can see. I mean, it's, it's, because you, know, you, got, you basically don't have anything to lose at this point. Exactly, yeah. Um, the, other, the other piece is, or there are other pieces, the Gaumans on the road to West Brookfield wanted to set up a market, so we do have outlets for our products if we wanted to take those products to Gaumans, they're, they're interested. We also have the Central Mass Grown initiative to connect some people too. So the, there's some other opportunities there that should fail that we can get products to market. Amongst the talk of other you know, people that go to the farmers market that actually set up, um, it seems to be that there's too many markets now. There are 246 of them. Yes, I mean, every town has markets you could go, if you were uh, you know, a farmer and that was all you would do, you could go to a farmer's market every single day of the week somewhere and just you know, right around here. Um, so that seems to be a big thing. It's, yep. it's too many. And, and they can go on the Mass Department of Agriculture right. website and they can poke, poke on a map and they can have the little thing come up right. and you can go to that market. I mean, I was called the other day because um, they're going to have one on Friday nights at uh, Islands. From, I think it's from 4 to 7 on Friday nights, but I, I, I told my, myself, I told my mom, we spread too thin as it is. Okay, you so know. Highlands, that server is coming alive. Yeah, okay. but they have, they have, I don't know if they still do, but they already had one at the Sturgis Village. They have one at the... Um, yeah. OSB promotes. Yeah, they are. They have another one at... Um, up on the mass pipe. Trump. And they the Trump right. service, and you know, so there's just there's there's just so around. many of them. And again, when we first started, part of our idea was to educate our right to farm. Right. I mean, that's what we were there, we were in enough flyers, we were right. promoting right to farm. We passed that. Right. Right. So that, that needs not there. But right. the hooking the kids in possibly is an idea. And again, we've right. saved some pumpkin seeds, we've saved, saved some compost, so it's available to, to kick kids off to do that sort of thing if you wanted to go do that. So why don't we table to that? the discussion for the night, talk about it next month. Let's see if there's some folks that want to participate. I'll send out the list of the folks that did participate and see who wants to hook into it if they do want to hook into it. Because we can do the educational stuff separate from the market, so we have to have the market.
unless we reserve that to next month. Make sense? All right. All right. Good. So with that, next on the agenda is educational stuff. So, Paul, one or, or Steve, when should we be plant, planting pumpkins? If we were, we've got a couple hundred pumpkin seeds. We've got compost. Why would we want to start kids planting pumpkins? Probably really May in pots in the house. Yep. So we can go out at, at the end of May. All right. So like maybe ten. So maybe uh, the first first week of May. So that we got a couple yeah, of probably. months. Couple of months to, yeah. right? Should be good for that. So pots in the house. We'll kind of give them a tutorial of how to do it. Mm -hmm. But sure. maybe have a Saturday morning on the common where we'll have buckets of compost and mm -hmm. and uh, seeds. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. So again, we don't need to make a decision tonight. But that, unless somebody else has got a, a better idea, I'm thinking pumpkins is kind of an easy thing because then we could do um, the idea of the uh, country fair where we could weigh the pumpkins, oh, yeah. and look at a journal, and maybe have the best journal growing and how to, how to record what, what happened with your pumpkin seeds. So when when a lose you win kind of thing. Okay, so we'll do that. Anything else as far as the ideas that we had? Paul, are you good for March to do the prep for me? Again, and I think our friends will be here with camera again, get you up on YouTube this year. Yeah. You like that idea? Sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be talking to Jim DeMeo on Friday about forestry for April. But Doug Hutchison did say he was interested and in his new replacement from that job was interested to come. And uh, because we met with the uh, Worcester County Ag Commissioners and Commissions um, last last week. Is that what we were? Yes, last, yeah, last week. week. Well, they're interested to be invited. So I think it's we'll get that stuff out and get them, get them invited. So that takes care of that. So I think it's now time for me to give you an update on Central Mass Road. So to, to um, go back in history, it started with the Rural 11. And with the rural 11, it was that there should be promotion of Worcester County agriculture. Uh, it was going to be only focused on the rural 11 communities, Brookfield, the Brookfields, and uh, an area up through uh, the northwest of Worcester County. And, and what now happened when the legislature got involved, a $60,000 grant was secured for Central Mass Grown. And it's on the, this is CESA's brochure if you hadn't seen it. Have you guys seen that before? Mm -hmm. All right. So it was on the idea to promote one of these for Worcester County. Again, remember, Worcester County is sixth in the nation for direct sales from farm to consumer. So could we improve that by having brochures like that? So anyone who wants to sign up, who hasn't signed up, has until the end of the month to get signed up to be in the brochure, if you want people coming by your farm, part of it's agritourism, where it makes sense, and those that would want it. Um, so that there's this available, but by the end of the month, they will have had over, well, they have over 100 farms in Worcester County signed, signed up, over 124, they've got fit, uh, Facebook likes and all kinds of good, good stuff as far as continuing to grow this thing. But it would have made it, 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 it uh, where CES is about 300 farms, to have 100 farms on a kickoff basis is pretty darn good. And again, it's all Worcester County. Uh, Westminster does the most with eight. We're kind of like in second or third place with people who've signed up from Brookfield. So that's really good. I noticed they went all the way to Chelmsford. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, in Chelmsford. so what happened with that is that and the reason that it became Central Mass Grown and not Worcester County Grown yeah. is that the legislatures around legislators around Worcester County saw that the freight train had left the station and they wanted to jump on. Uh -huh. And so the, their support came with letting the farms kind of join in and jump on the train. And that was certainly approved because what we're trying to do is improve mass agriculture. Yeah. And so that, that's where that came from. <coughs> So what, what's missing is now, you just had the map out here, what's missing is a Blackstone Valley. We're, we're, the rural 11 is well represented, they've got the same one. And so we'll be out there, and you can see almost the crescent here on the page. Yeah, this is the map, if you can see that share. And what happens is the rural 11, again, well represented with the darker shades. But the Blackstone Valley is missing. And again, we're starting to poke, when we get into Hampshire County, we're starting to poach on ceases 
turf. It's not probably a bad idea either. But again, we've had good progress with this thing so far. If you're interested in more information or if you hear anybody, not a problem. What I've done and what I'll pass around is our brochure for the year to direct people in those directions. And I've marked a draft. So if, if you want to mark that up through the meeting tonight, and I'll start to get around to those that we haven't talked to to make sure everything is uh, fine. We did take Ellen Hall off last year, and we want to take that and go we'll figure out if they want that back again. So why don't you guys take that? Here's a pen to mark it up if you want to mark it up. Well, that's on value imperative for this? No, no. Well, this is cruising. What's, what's going on is this is cruising now. You have 100 farms. There's going to be a kickoff event in March where they're going to invite restaurants, schools, and all those kinds of things. It's going to be hosted by the South Bridge Conference Center. Um, a Southern, Man, a Southern Worcester County Chamber of Commerce is promoting an event to kick off, to again get people to know one another, to network. And I think if there's anything to be taken away from this, is that we will be networking farms to consumers to improve the, the transition to make sure people have a place to sell, sell their goods. I think it's I think all, all large home value. You know, it's a viable place if you can get them people mm -hmm. in that direction. Right. Yeah. One of the towns that's not well represented is East Point, and there are certainly some folks there. And I think what's going to have to happen is you get this year going, and people will see that it's been successful, and they'll, they'll jump on. And I uh, hope. Anything else said for Mass Grown? Okay. With that. <coughs> And so that's Central Mass Grown, and so Mass Ag Commission, so this is now your next big opportunity. It, or I shouldn't say Mass Ag, Worcester County Ag Commission's next quarterly meeting is in April. And how would you like to host it here at the same time and place? Would that be in, of interest to you? Uh, you have forestry and composting going on as well. Right? Uh, well, yeah, we have to, we're going to work on what would be, but would you entertain Matt, uh, Worcester County Ag Commission and commissioners and all that to come to Brookfield to have it? It, it was a networking session, is what it was, a best practices session that Kenny and I went to last week. So if you've got an interest, uh, we challenged them that they may not want to come to Brookfield because we were in Westminster last time and that's an hour in that direction. So there might be a place halfway between. So what's involved in hosting them? Just some uh, goodies. More tables? Yeah, more tables and goodies. <laughs> goodies. Yeah. And they run the, they run the meeting. Yeah. It, it, they, the gal is the chairperson, mm -hmm. is a facilitator, and, and it's to share the best practices. So we, we've challenged them, so they may be headed this way. Again, we don't have to talk about too much tonight, but I thought you guys were up to the challenge. So it was a rough ride. It was a rough ride. So, the last, the last thing is I did attend the Mass Ag Commission meeting in Northampton two weekends ago. And that also was a pretty much networking affair. And um, a lot of people struggle across the board from Brimfield just starting an Ag Commission and how to do right to farm. And so we shared with them some of our best practices as far as how we got going. And she was very pleased with that. Um, you've got the other end where the whole GMO thing is up, and they can't agree to anything. And, and back to a town, and I can't remember the town offhand, Wheatley? Maybe I got it. Yeah, so there's, there's a big fight over GMO. And the, the kind of the takeaway from that was even though the GMO is a big dispute within the town, that the town could come up and should come up with those things that they might agree on. So that they don't shoot one. Another. So I, I thought it was good. So um, anyway, you, you've got the extremes. But uh, in there, I came with our brochure, showed them our brochure, showed them our tenets of operation and what we focus on, and that uh, we really do try to strive to have people work together. So um, it was well received. And, and again, I think we're certainly in the middle of the pack as far as our progress. So, Jim, anything from your end? No. No? Good? Don? Barbara? Stay warm. Stay warm. Okay. Donnie, any thoughts? What's that? Rosa, Roseanne needs some more to honey. She yeah. Has, yeah, she's got like four bottles left on the counter. <coughs> so you may want to stop and see her. All right. <laughs> Paul, you're good? 
Good. Steve, when do you start planting? Hopefully April. The new hot house? Did they? Is it working? What the hot house? Yeah. No, I have some turkeys in there right now. They they're ripping up everything. So <laughs> no planting there. All right. But from other boards in town, you got anything you know? Uh, I this. Oh, they, they wanted pictures. They were, they were talking about pictures to put magazine. Oh yeah. Good point. If someone has a good picture, I've shared our pictures that we have with them so that they're, I told them they can use them. But if you have any other egg type pictures, Paul, you might have something from the farm. That would be an excellent idea. I need some of our flowers. Oh, oh Steve, yeah. yeah, awesome. Email? I think uh, Ken asked me to uh, take a picture of last year. So I did. Yeah. Would you uh, pop it to me? Sure, yeah, I'll try to find them. Yeah, I'll move them here. All right. That'd be yeah. awesome. Some critters. Critters would be good. Sharing. Yeah, yeah. View with the wheel would be awesome. I'm sure there's pictures of that. Okay. Yeah, because they're looking to. Uh, Clums has got the back cover, by the way, of the, the new brochure for Worcester County. So this, there's lots of advertising that's going on. And, and again, I think this was 300 and it's 64 pages. We're at 100 and they're at 40, 48 pages. It's going to cost about 30 to do. They've got a $60,000 grant so that there'll be some promotional monies available to do the couple of events. I think it's for a first year. I mean, it's out of the gate fast and running and running well. All right. Anything else that we need? What about to this uh, that's going on with the host hotels? And oh, oh, yes. Uh, CM, you will be represented by the fact. By, by de facto, anyway, but the CMG Central Mass Grown will be there and have a table. Mm -hmm. uh, two gals have volunteered to, to do that. It's like 165 bucks or something like that to do, and they're paying for it. And that's the whole state, isn't it? And that's the whole state. It's every two years. And uh, there's got, been a couple of times at the host. But uh, some decent conferences. Oh, by the way, if you need legal assistance before you leave here, the other thing that's happened is that there is a legal services food hub available on February 10th. There's a free info session between farmers, food entrepreneurs, and lawyers. Um, the Conservation Law Foundation has put and set aside money to help farmers um, with legal assistance. So it's available. Paul, in fact, you may take that. Speaking of people that might need legal assistance. <laughs> Not saying anything. Anyway, all right. Not saying anything. <laughs> so, anything else tonight? Once, twice, sold. So with that, if there's nothing else tonight, we'll come back. Roseanne's going to do the primary part of the meeting next month, and then we'll have a short uh, meeting staff kind of thing after that as to what we need to be doing. But I think probably setting up the idea of the first to get some pumpkin seeds to kids and get them growing pumpkins and seeing if they can get their hands dirty would be kind of a fun thing. No, no. All right, if we have the market to boot, okay, fine. So, good. So with that, would someone offer a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Any oh, second. Second. second, all right. Any uh, discussion? Oh, we can't have discussion on that. <laughs> Those who favor submit by saying aye. Uh -huh. uh, anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. And again, we thank you for joining us at the Ag Meeting for January 21st. Hopefully see you next month to learn all about raising chickens healthy and safely. Thanks and good night. That's a list of all of you.